So now I'm going to be showing you guys exactly what the best NVIDIA control panel settings are. So in terms of how to get into the NVIDIA controller panel, you're going, you're going to go to your search bar, then you're going to type NVIDIA control panel, and it should be the first thing that pops up. So you're just going to click on that, and it's going to pop up right here on your screen, as you guys can see. It is going to take a second to load, obviously, but the first thing I would highly recommend you guys do is go to this thing that says adjust image settings with preview. You're going to click on this, and then it's going to bring up this little taskbar right here. The first thing you guys are going to do is you're going to click use my preference preference emphasizing and it's you're gonna go down it's gonna probably be at quality when you guys get there depending on exactly what your pc is but you're gonna drag that all the way down to performance and you're gonna leave it there however after this what you guys are going to do is you're going to check this use the advanced 3d image settings you're gonna check that and then you're gonna click take me there it's going to take you to this tab and you're gonna ensure that you have global settings selected after this, I'm going to go into exactly what the best settings are. Now right here, there's about 30 or so settings that I'm going to be going over, and you guys need to make sure that you have them exactly the same as mine, especially if you're on a PC that's similar to mine. So right here, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to image sharpening, and you're going to make sure it is set to sharpening off scaling disabled. I already have it set right here, and this basically is going to control exactly how sharp your image looks. The next one is going to be ambient occlusion, it's, you're going to turn this off. The next setting is going to be anisotropic filtering, and you're going to turn this setting off. So what you're going to do is you're just going to click on it and then turn it off right here. The next setting is going to be anti-aliasing FXAA, and what you're going to do with this setting is you're going to also turn it off. As you guys can see, most of these settings are going to be turned off in order to get the best FPS possible. So you're now going to go to anti-aliasing gamma correction, and you're going to turn this setting off as well. After that, you're going to go to anti-aliasing mode, and you're going to go and you're going to turn this setting off as well, just like all the rest. Obviously, these two settings have been blacked out for most people, so you can't really change these. Just leave them how they are. Those are how they're supposed to be. You're then going to scroll down so that you guys can see, obviously, more of these settings. And then you're going to see background application max frame rate. You're going to keep this setting off. The next one, you're going to see CUDA GPUs. You're also going to turn this setting on to all. The next setting, you're going to see DSR factors. You're going to turn this setting and keep it off. This is arguably one of the most important if you guys want to get the best FPS possible. So you're going to see low latency mode, this is going to be off. Basically all of these settings, which is DSR factors, smooth this, low latency mode, max frame rate, and you're going to be off. Monitor technology, this can vary depending on what type of monitor you have, but for the most people, I would recommend you go here, and then you turn it on to fixed refresh. After this, I would recommend that you guys go to this multi-frame sampled AA. You guys are going to be turning this one off. Then open GL Rendering GPU. I would highly recommend you guys click on this and select the GPU that you have in your system. So for me, it's the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070. I know it's a bit old. However, this is going to be my GPU right here. The next one you're going to see is Power Management Mode. You're going to click on this one and you're going to turn it up to Prefer Maximum Performance. The next one you're going to see is Preferred Refresh Rate Omen by HP 25. You're going to be clicking on this and you're going to select Highest Available. This is basically going to select your refresh rate as being the highest available that there is from your monitor. Obviously, Shader Catch you're going to leave on and then Texture Filtering, Antistropic Sample Option. I don't really know what the second one says. You're going to basically leave this setting off. Then for texture filtering negative LOD bias, you're going to be turning this one on to allow. And then for texture filtering quality, you're going to turn this on to high performance. The next one is going to be texture filtering, trilinear optimization. You're going to turn this setting on. And then for threaded optimization, you guys are obviously going to be also turning this setting on in order to get that threaded optimization with your CPUs. Triple buffering is obviously going to be off. And then for vertical sync, I would recommend you guys take this and you also turn this one off because it is not as good as you guys may think. And then obviously for virtual reality pre-rendered frames, this is going to be a one. So yeah, this was basically all of the settings for the NVIDIA control panel. I know it was a short one, but let's get into the rest of the video. Anyways guys, that is the video on exactly what the best NVIDIA control panel settings are if you guys want to try to get the best FPS in Chapter 2 Season 6. If you guys did enjoy that video, please consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel down below. Be sure to check out all of my socials that are found in the description if you guys do want to support me there. But that's about it for this video guys, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.